guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. This is the first time I've ever filmed down here. I'm in my guest bedroom of my house, so it might look a little funny. Like that random string light over there would look super cute if you could see that it actually goes across the border of this whole wall, but you can't see that in this angle. I need to order a new tripod off Amazon. This one is totally shot, so we're just making it work for now. Today's video, the real purpose why we're here, is I have a book review for you. This is my first book review and first book I've read of 2019, so I'm pretty excited. I do these every month on my channel, and the way they work is I start out by giving a very general, generic, like opinion on the book and then I launch a little further into detail for those who are interested but I always keep it spoiler free but just in case anybody like really doesn't want to know anything I just say the one piece and then I move on so this is the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society by Mary Ann Schaefer and Annie Barros I'm gonna go ahead and say that I recommend this book for sure this was unlike anything else that I have really read recently and not very similar to the things that I tend to read it's a historical piece like it takes place during like right after um, World War II and like part of it is in World War II so it was kind of like a very charming also you can probably hear my laundry that wasn't very smart let me shut the door I don't know if that will help but <clears throat> we're super unprofessional around here so yes, it was a very charming, romantic, just like cute book and it was really nice and I do recommend it. I also want to say that I'm also comparing this to the movie because Netflix did like a Netflix original movie and created it into a movie which I just watched yesterday and the movie was also super cute. I highly recommend reading the book and then watching the movie. I know my mom watched the movie without having read the book and she quite enjoyed it but I feel like you for sure would get more enjoyment out of reading this and then watching it. It just kind of helps you like fill in some of the gaps of things that inevitably they're not able to put every last detail from a book into a film. And so when you already have that backdrop knowledge, it kind of helps you like fill in the gaps of the movie. That's how I feel. Okay, now I'm gonna launch into just a tad more detail. The main character of this story is a girl named Juliet and she is a writer and she becomes famous for this one character that she portrays and she goes on this big book tour and she has a uh, like a publisher who she's very close with okay so one day she receives a letter from this like random man and he essentially says hi I found your address in this book by Charles Lamb and you know I'm sorry if this is too forward for me to be writing to you but I'm a member of this literary society which is like a book club and I was just wondering if you could direct me in the way that I could get my hands on like the next Charles Lamb book or whatever like can you give me the address of a bookshop and the way he writes it is like just very charming and very intriguing and so Juliet responds back and she starts kind of asking well wait a second what's up with this literary society and how did it get this name and then you know he responds back and they start this dialogue and uh, shortly after that a lot of the other members of the literary society become intrigued by Juliet and they start writing to her. Another thing I should mention is that this entire book is in the format of letters so it's a little bit interesting but honestly I really enjoyed that format one of my favorite books of all time which is called the perks of being a wallflower is that way like the whole thing is through letters and for me personally who has a super short attention span it's so perfect because you can just pick it up literally read like one of the letters or whatever and then put it down you know if you are on the go or you can sit there and just like read a bunch like it just helps I'm always a person who like prefers to have smaller chapters or smaller like little place mark for me to stop and anyhow so she decides that after kind of in like engaging with these members of the society that she wants to go and actually meet them they live in Guernsey which I am like not some geography expert there is a little map in here of where like the the islands are and in relation to like London which is where Juliet is 
but it sounded like it was a pretty rough place to be during the war and a lot of these members of the society and like their surrounding families and stuff have like really crazy sad stories from World War II so she goes and she meets them and some stuff happens and I don't want to spoil anything but it's definitely like I said this book was really charming I feel like I've never really described a novel that way but this was incredibly charming the the tone in which it was written it was definitely that historical <clears throat> excuse me that historical piece kind of that old-fashioned lingo but it also I mean I found myself learning like a little bit more about World War II which I think is always a good thing for me personally I always feel good when I'm like learning about something real yes this is a fiction book but it is taking place during like a real time frame and a lot of the stuff they're talking about and like the concepts are real and so I found that very interesting so yes it's charming it's feel good it's a little witty like I mean just the way that it's like letters written it's like it's just so cute I don't know how to explain it and so the movie definitely doesn't capture all that little like tongue-in-cheek cuteness of like writing letters to one another but the movie is super cute um yeah I don't really know what else to say about it except that I do recommend it this was a book that I had seen on the shelves for a long time because it's like a bestseller and I was always extremely intrigued by the name like the it's like this long title and potato peel pie but then I remember like picking it up and I would be like, eh, I don't know. And I think that's because I tend to be very like, I like Gillian Flynn or Gillian Flynn novels. I like Leanne Moriarty novels. I like, you know, I feel like they're very cookie cutter. They're amazing novels. I don't mean to discredit them, but it's a lot of what I normally read, like kind of a thriller, mystery, you know, whereas this just like the last book that I read too that review should be up on my channel uh before we were yours they're different it's like a different type of fiction and I think it really just like opens up a different part of my mind and really um I'm really happy that I read it so I recommend it let me know what you think if you have read this and let me know if you have any book recommendations I would love to hear because yeah I read every month and film reviews on them so thank you all for watching I will see you guys next time love you bye